Hi friends, in this lecture, let us see learning process. Learning is the most important part of neural network as the neural network is learning and adopting some data from the environment and it will, it will follow some learning process and it will give the proper result for any other inputs. So that's what the neural network is. Now let us see how learning happens in the neural network. Learning. Yeah, the property of the neural network is its ability to learn from the environment and to improve, to improve its performance through learning. So this is the main property of neural network. And in neural network, the learning is the ultimate point of neural network. We need to make the neural network to learn from the environment and to learn from the based on the environment. And coming to what is meant by learning. Learning is different from the classroom learning and learning is different from some other scenarios learning. But basically in neural network context, the learning is defined as follows. Learning is a process by which the free parameters of a neural network are adapted through a process of stimulation by the environment in which the network is embedded. The type of learning is determined by the manner in which the parameter changes takes place. So this is what the learning is. So in this definition, this definition is according to the neural network context. So this definition is definitely up for the neural network. In this learning process the main thing is free parameters the free parameters has to be adapted the free parameters of a neural network are adapted through a process of stimulation stimulation means giving the input signals so it has to be adopted from the process of stimulation so the neural network is providing the neural network is provided some information from the environment so that it will learn something that means the free parameters of the neural network will change to some other parameters it will learn according to according to the environment so according to the trained data that's why we are always separating some data into trained data and test data that means we need to give more data to the neural network to train itself for the environment that means as for the environment it has to be trained and the type of learning is determined by the manner in which the parameter changes takes place. So here what happened, the parameter changes take place. So the free parameters of the neural network has to be changed to some parameters based on the stimulation of the environment. So this process is called learning as per neural network context is concerned. Okay. And the next step is how this happens. Learning process. In learning process, there are so many different different types are there and people generally confuse with all these types. But in this lecture, it will be very much clear such that the, there are some learning types and these are the learning processes. How the learning pro process will be divided into some other category. First category is the learning algorithm. That means a prescribed well-defined rules for the solution of a learning problem. One problem is there and that's the learning problem and we have to make the, we have to change the neural network for, to solve that problem. Then I need to write an algorithm. And what is that algorithm? Algorithm means it is set of some rules. So I need to write some rules. For example, if one point has come to neural network and I need to say that whether it is positive or negative then what I need to do I need to write an algorithm that means I need to write some rules such that the item the if the number is having negative sign then it is negative if it is having positive sign then it is positive if it is zero then it is zero simple so those lines I need to write so that is called learning rules those lines are called learning rules and the entire set is called algorithm. Okay, so this is called learning algorithm. So the next thing is learning rule. So obviously the 
small part or one line statement and one instruction is called the learning rule. Next, the next one is learning paradigm. What is going to be learning paradigm? So learning paradigm that refers to a model of environment in which the neural network operates. It definitely shows the environment. Environment means not simply giving the inputs to train the data, but the environment is giving the inputs to train the data and after getting the output also it will take some information from the output and it will the environment will again change and it after changing the environment also it will give some input data to the neural network that will happen based on learning paradigm we will definitely study all these things in the forthcoming lectures and the next thing is learning tasks for what you are doing all these things is the task. The choice of particular algorithm is influenced by the learning task that a neural network is required to perform. So this is my final content of learning process. If I need to do something, for example, learning task, I need to perform a learning task. If I need to perform a learning task, I need to choose my learning paradigm. And I need to choose my learning rule or learning algorithm. Based on all these things, a problem will be solved in neural network. That's why the learning process is very, very important in neural network. And the learning process is divided into these categories. You can take learning algorithm or learning rule as one category. And learning paradigm is some other category. And learning tasks is some other category. So let us discuss what are these categories and we will discuss each and every point thoroughly in forthcoming lectures. So let us first see learning rules. So what are the learning rules available for us? The learning rules available for us are error correction learning rule, memory based learning rule, Hebbian's learning rule, competitive learning rule and Boltzmann's learning rules. So all these learning rules says something, error correction learning rule says something and the memory based learning rule says something, Hebbian's learning rule will say something and competitive learning rule will say something and Boltzmann's learning rule will say something and each of these learning rules are suitable for particular task. If a particular task is given to you, yes you need to classify these things. Then you need to see which learning rule I need to opt. Which learning rule you have to opt. Then only you will proceed. You will start your algorithm based on this learning rule only. Okay. That's the thing. And coming to learning paradigm. There are two types of learning paradigms. One is a learning with a teacher. And second one is learning without a teacher. It's learning with a teacher is called supervised learning. And learning without a teacher is again divided into two parts. One is reinforcement learning and unsupervised learning. And these three learning rules basically. One is the learning with a teacher is called supervised learning, reinforcement learning and unsupervised learning. So all the three learnings will be discussed thoroughly in the forthcoming lectures. Next topic is the learning tasks. So what are the tasks where we can, we can, we can solve based on the neural networks. So the tasks we can solve by using neural networks generally are pattern association, pattern recognition, function approximation, control, filtering and beam following. So these are the learning tasks we are going to solve by using neural networks. So coming to all these things, we, we will discuss each and every topic based on under the heading of learning tasks, learning paradigms and learning rules in forthcoming lectures. So for this lecture, this is the end. So we have discussed what is meant by learning and what is meant by learning in terms of neural network context and what are the different learning processes available and what are the different things in each and every learning process. So this is what we have completed for as per learning is concerned.
thank you for 300 plus subscriptions for my youtube channel and if you like this video please like it if you have any if you have any doubts and if i commit any mistake so please let me know in the comment box so that we can rectify in the next video also and we can change this video also no, no issue at all and please share with your friends if you haven't subscribed till date so please subscribe to my youtube channel and please click on the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload the videos thank you thank you very much